Okay, we're continuing on the subject of healing, and uh, our question is, how can healing come to us? How can healing come to us? And we talked about in Matthew 8 and verses 1 through 4, it could come through worship. And that's when the leper came to Jesus and worshiped him and asked Jesus, you know, if, if he would heal him. He knew he could, but he needed to know if he would heal him. And Jesus said, I will, and healed him. And then uh, it can come by request. And remember, the centurion and also in Matthew 8 uh, came to Jesus in behalf of his servant and requested that Jesus would, you know, heal his servant. And Jesus simply said, I will come and heal him. And then the, the next thing that we saw that, uh, and also in Matthew 8, there's uh, Peter's mother-in-law, and Jesus enters the house, and she has a fever, and it said that Jesus just touched her, and the fever left her. So we can see that healing can come to us through a touch, or through the laying on of hands. And of course, the Bible tells us in Mark 16, uh, talking to believers, if we will lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. It didn't say they might, it said they shall recover. But of course, we have to pray the prayer of faith, and we do it in the name of Jesus. And then, of course, we had uh, the uh, <clears throat> men that brought this man to Jesus. And, of course, they're coming, uh, bringing someone to the Lord for healing. And the same thing could come with anyone else. I know of several people that have gone to Catherine Coolman's meetings years ago and received healing, or Robert's meetings received healing, and also Benny Hinn and our, our time, you know, and people have brought them, and during the meeting they received healing. Uh, there was a lady that came to our Bible school, same thing, uh, my wife and I did, and she wrote a book actually of her and her sister and her mother, and she wanted to take her mother to receive healing from uh, in a Catherine Kuhlman meeting. They were sitting way up in the back, and Catherine Kuhlman says, well, I see three women in the back, and then God spoke, I mean, uh, I would say God spoke certain things through Catherine Kuhlman, and actually, all three of them are safe healing. <laughs> so, uh, but they were concerned about the mother because she was near death. But the sisters, the daughters of that lady, they both received healing also. So you can receive healing by bringing someone. And also, uh, a friend, as a friend, you know, you can uh, make sure that you get people to the right place. There's many people that, you know, that we uh, have acquaintance with, you know, and we just need to get them in the right place or we need to pray for them personally. And so we need to know that people coming to the Lord will not be turned away. Now, in Matthew 9 and verse 18, we have another example here and it's uh, actually concerning a child. Matthew uh, 9 and verse 18, it said, While he spake, talking about Jesus, these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead. Notice that he's coming with an attitude of worship. So we've already saw that people can receive healing through worship. But he's coming in behalf of his daughter. So he came and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come now and lay thy hands upon her, and she shall live. And so he believed that Jesus could actually raise his daughter from the dead. In verse 19, it said, And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. So Jesus is going along here, and the disciples are following. And of course the disciples are uh, learning, you know, as they're going. In verse 23, it said, When Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels 
and uh, people making a noise, you know, that's what they do when they're mourning and, and crying out uh, uh, concerning someone's death. And then verse 24, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. So, in other words, they were not believing there. And so in verse 25, it said, And when the people were put forth, in other words, he put them out of the room because he didn't want any unbelief in the room if he was going to help someone. And so he put them forth, and then he went in back into the room and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. And it said the fame of him, or the fame there, uh, hereof, went abroad into all the land. So here we see uh, that Jesus had to deal with people with unbelief in the room, he had to remove them, and in that area he was able to get this little girl raised up. Amen.